reconnecting mainframe. Augmentation programs loaded. Topside assets ready. Initiate. Welcome to the Frog Files, where reality is a puzzle waiting to be solved. And I'm Kennedy, your host, navigating the intersections of truth and illusion. Are you ready to step into a world where the Frog Files meet the matrix? Where the lines between reality and fiction blur into a tapestry of intrigue? The rabbit hole goes deep, and the mysteries we uncover may challenge everything you thought you knew. Agents, let us embrace the unknown with open minds. Many do not get notifications. 
So please share, subscribe, and consider joining the community, for without your help, the frog files cannot exist in this Matrix-themed reality. Find notifications on the Community tab or on X as at Trinity YouTube. And join the Good Vibe Be Kind tribe with Discord perk to not miss a live stream podcast. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> and thank you for being here. And to everyone who joined, subscribed, and shared, your support keeps the frog files going. This is Trinity, red or blue pill. Hi ho, come with the frog here. Come with me and you'll see a world of your imagination. Oh my goodness, testing, testing. Um, Gosh, I was over here talking to myself, kind of like dancing with myself. Oh, dancing with myself. I'm over talking to myself. Oh, talking to myself. Okay, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day, 17th of April, 2024. How are all of you doing? I'm trying to get this intro down and it's a work in progress and this is live. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it live. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Let's see who's in the house tonight. We've got the lifeboat. Woohoo! Brian Ellis, Butterfly31, Dear Bradley. Or Dean Bradley. <laughs> Sorry, Dean Bradley. Good to see you. Uh, Daryl Kahu Modding. Thank you, thank you. And Butterfly 31. The beautiful Butterfly 31. Hop to see in. You always make me smile. Oh my goodness. Jeremy Single Knuckle. Joy True Julio. <laughs> Ultimate Creations. Mr. C Modding. That's freaking amazing. Thank you. Rick Johnson. Ah, the related boat in the house. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I'm so happy to see you, the related boat. Reese, oh my gosh. If you guys not checked out Related Boat, and of course, most know about Tommy too, the lifeboat. I have fallen in love with these two. And the related boat, I can't tell you how many times I am laughing and smiling. And she's got a cute little She's got several cute animals, but she's got Gertie in the Gertie voice. Oh my goodness. I just, I can't even begin to tell you. So freaking cute. And I love, love, love these two. Um, maybe someday if I ever figure out how to do a guest or a live in show, how a show with a guest on it. Oh my gosh. I'd be so honored to have them here on my show for the, I've never, I've never had a guest. I'd be so, so, ex oh wow. I can't even imagine. That would be amazing. Yeah, I get all, just all excited thinking about it. <laughs> but yes, the related boat. So Mr. C, if you can find the related boat and put their um, link in, they just started this channel out. They started the channel and within 24 hours, they're already monetized. They are amazing. They're rock, they're just, they're, they're, yeah. I can't even begin to tell you. And believe me, it covers all different types of topics. I mean, from Dr. Ruth, you know, you're going to get in, down and dirty and silly and uh, make sure you've got uh, your big boy grown pants on. And if you're not in the mood for that, well, you never know what you're going to get over there. So it can be anything from who knows what to all kinds of just real life things going on. Just real life, authentic, amazing individuals. I just love these two. Reese, if you're listening, thank you for being here. I am, <laughs> you are, um, wow. I'm just shocked that you're here, so thank you. And Tommy, thank you so much. Um, so we're gonna cover some tinfoil hat stuff tonight. I don't normally go down that road, but, well, of course I do. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> we do all kinds of deep dives and rabbit holes, but you know, all these conspiracies are coming true. So we like to just, you know, get into all the stuff that who knows what could be fact from fiction. And you know, they're trying to silence us. So why shouldn't we, uh, Go ahead and say what we can before they do. Because I did get this kind of weird message from over in Australia where um, he put it all in one word saying that they're going to be shutting down all live streaming over there. And that whatever happens there happens here. So we will see what happens. Um, if you can't find the link, though, I will put it in, Mr. C or um, 
Daryl, let me know. It's kind of going through the chat here. Oh, I got Snickers on my lap snoring. Um, that Snickers, if you know, it's uh, who you see in the frog sweatshirt. That's what I want to have for merchandise, you know, or frog files. Trinity Red or Blue Pill, ha ho, come with the frog here. Um, definitely. And uh, pillows and blankets, because you know, I like to be cozy. Fix you a cup of tea, your favorite drink, whether it's water with some cucumber in it or fruit to your mocktails, your cocktails. I would love to just come through the computer and serve you and sit on the on the floor, um, sit on the couch and just chill. So since I'm not able to be right with you, wherever you're at, just imagine that I am and I'm fixing, fixing your favorite appetizer and uh, your, fa your favorite refreshment. And we're going to just have a nice little cozy uh, conversation tonight and talk about all the weird things. Because, hey, why not be weird in this crazy wonderful world we're in, right? Mr. C, thank you for putting the related boat in the link. Thank you so much. Oh, you would love to? Reese, that would be amazing. Oh, I need to uh, talk with Tommy and I am new at, well, I'm, I used to just um, edit videos and um, do, I used to do a lot of, so if you're new to my channel, anybody who's lurking or new to my channel, thank you for being here. Um, lurkers, the replay crew, you're freaking amazing. I love my replay crew. Uh, to this podcast live stream. Um, as you know, I am trying to get better at live streaming. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I would love to figure out how to do the guest thing. Um, that would be amazing because I've been wanting to do phone calls too. You subbed. Awesome, Hoppacian. Believe me, you can't be bashful over there. And if you you go to Relate a Boat and you are, you know, tuning into a subject that might make you blush or might make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, just tune out, just change the channel, come back another day. You never know what you're gonna get there. Kinda like here, you never know what you're gonna get. And um, if you just wanna sit back and just kinda sit with your mouth open sometimes, <laughs> you'll do that too and you'll laugh. Um, but it's all different types of topics. And Reese is a, she's a really been through a lot, um, the Related Boat, and Tommy has too. We know his journey. And if you don't know their journeys, please check out the lifeboat. And and uh, Tommy's son is taking over the lifeboat. He's uh, doing a great job. Um, so uh, lifeboat too, if you could put that link in. I'm sure most people know about it. But that's also for anybody who's fighting any type of addiction. And who doesn't have an addiction nowadays? And addictions can go from social media to um, you know managing all types of things in your life. It doesn't have to just be... Um, it can be food, it can be um, prescriptions, it can be things that are not um, perhaps legal, or it can be anything that you're just struggling to control. Um, so it, it can give you all kinds of great advice. Um, or just, you know, be good friends. You can find some amazing people in that chat. I love um, both those channels. Yes, and Wages World is one that got me there. So Wages World, if you're listening, I, I hope you're in here, brother. Um, there's a lot going on with this geomagnetic storm. Goodness sakes, my brain. Oh, I feel it. I don't know if anybody else can feel it. And there's a lot going on with the uh, radar systems. We could go all into Fermilabs and CERN and um, those deep dives because there's a lot going on. They have a lot of experience going off neutrinos. So, um, you know, the World Wide Web. Who created it? ARPA and DARPA, right? It's like a box of chocolates. Absolutely, Dean Bradley. <laughs> Patriots 421, you're driving. You be careful driving, but I'm so glad you're here listening. Oh my gosh. Never know what you're going to get. Yes. Oh, I am I wish I had some more of my migraine medication. Ooh. Um, so let's see. Where do I want to begin on which topic tonight? I love these outfits these ladies are wearing. <laughs> I always have this on my page. I don't know how. So anyways, um, if you want to find me on the um, X, formerly known as Twitter, you can find me at Trinity YouTube. And um, there's many things I want to cover. Um, I, we've been talking about um, talking about the sun simulator, which we know that China does have a fake sun, which is insane. Uh, we could get into that. Um, there's some crazy new, new things that um, I kind of wanted to cover too. Where do I begin? Where should we begin? Well, let's start with this. Uh, the sun is not what we think it is. More evidence is coming out of a fake sun 
Uh, these videos clearly show the sun's not circular and very similar to the recent video I shared of the patented artificial sun, which is below. And this is by Globe Stupid. <laughs> That's a great name. And uh, we could also go into find this too. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. China Sun Sim. You later. Here we go. And a lot of people had a lot of questions about um, why technology wasn't working with the last eclipse. Um, a lot of the weird things and there's some pretty f interesting stuff I have to tell you I tried to film some of it and I, I, I it's not like the sun we used to know I know that sounds crazy but I remember the sun being like yellow and I don't know it, it, it's probably our sun and it's just getting hotter because that's what it does I'm sure wages world could be in probably rolling on the ground laughing at me right now but we do know that China does have an artificial sun so it's not all um, science fiction Let's get into this. And this was back, this article um, was, if, if you've never heard of this, uh, China's $1 trillion artificial sun fusion reactor just got five times hotter than the sun. The experimental fusion reactor could help to unlock near limitless uh, clean energy. China's artificial sun has set a new world record after superheating a loop of plasma to a temperature five times hotter than the sun for more than 17 minutes, state media reported. The East Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak nuclear fusion reactor maintained a temperature of 158 million degrees Fahrenheit or, or uh, for 1,056 seconds, according to the Xinhua News Agency. And this achievement brings scientists to a small yet significant step closer to the creation of a source of near, near unlimited clean energy. This Chinese experimental nuclear fusion reactor smashed the previous record set by Francis Tor Supra Tokamak. Oh, here we go. Whoops. Um, in 2003, where the plasma in a coiling loop remained at similar temperatures for 390 seconds. East had previously set another record in May 2021 by running for 101 seconds at the unprecedented 216 million uh, Fahrenheit. The core of the actual sun, by contrast, reaches temperatures around 27 million Fahrenheit. Um, and so, you know, when we see or hear about Japan having all of these crazy um, earthquakes and things that are going on and why they probably silence, you know, Dutch sense who's predicting these things. Well, if you look under our feet um, to the Fermilabs and the deep underground neutrino experiments from South Dakota to Chicago that we have here in the United States, and they have the Super K Dune deep underground neutrino experiment over in Japan, um, you start lining up on the map where these places are under our feet and where these things are happening and firing back up, it all makes a lot of sense. And then what they're doing in our skies. Well, look at what's going on in Dubai. We covered that last night. Um, Dubai with the um, Operation Popeye, you know, that's what they started in Vietnam, weather warfare. It's called cloud seeding. It's very real. It's not a secret. And they can do it. And we kind of went over that last night. Um, I'm sure if you've been in here, you kind of know that I've talked about it many times. If you've not heard about it, you can do a quick Google search and check it out. Or you can check out some of my other videos, um, too. We can also cover it if you'd like. I'm going to take a drink real quick. Thank you, Mr. C, for putting in Lifeboat's channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, Curve Creeper, I get burnt too, a lot faster. I had the, one of the worst burns um, the last time that I well, I took a family vacation and went on a cruise into the islands was in Atlantis. And, um, you know, I used to be a um, scuba diver and... Uh, I don't think I'll be doing that again, but I used to do so many dives. I don't even know how many dives I've done, but, um, yeah, I got burned so bad. It was, I was miserable. So yeah, you got to be very careful out in the sun right now. It is very, very hot, which we know, you know, wages world, if he was in here, he would explain to us, you know, the pole shift on the sun and, and us, it all, you know, it all makes sense with the cycles that it does. But at the same time, they are doing this. And in France, they also have the itter, 
um, experiment and it's or iter. I always know I always say it wrong. Um, iter is in France and it's the uh, Tokamak and is the, one of the largest uh, billion dollar experiments that they're trying to do. It's called fusion energy. It is a fusion nu nuclear reaction that powers the sun and the stars and is promoting long term option. Oops, went too fast. Um, ha, well, it's just going to just cycle here. Um, that's what the machine looks like. And oh, so crazy. What I'm going to have to pull this up, what it sounds like. It sounds like people screaming in a machine. 35 countries in 35 years, excuse me. Um, but this is a massive, massive um, thing that they're taking on. And uh, it's in the Catarache Research Center in France. Yeah. Um, here we go. In the Saint Paul Les Durant's Southern France. And ITER stands for, or ITER stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. Um, in fact, I did this a while back and uh, find it here. It's creepy. I'll show you uh, what it sounds like when they fired up one of these machines. Um, if I can find it here. Let's see, so I remember way back. Um, let me find it. I, um, Snickers is snoring, everyone. I bet you can hear her. Where did I put it? Hmm. One second. No, it's here. This should be here. Didn't think that. Huh. That's interesting. Where did it go? Huh. Well, that's interesting. It should it be like right in here? Because I remember how crazy it was. Well, that's really weird. I don't know where it went. Um, here I'll just type in. The sound of a uh, nuclear reactor. It sounds like, uh, wow, I, I don't know where it went. It sounds demonic, yes. Um, interesting I don't know where that went I had a video on this huh tokamak okay well I I had this I had a video on this but I'll just play it um if I can find the video Using the same physics that light up the sun, fusion reactors promise to generate almost infinite energy on Earth. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Atoms scream when they fuse inside a reactor, and the sound is frightening. Where did it go? Because this article was back in, uh, yeah, 2015. Um, Uh, physicist's favorite type of fusion reactor uses plasma. And, you know, plasma is the sun. It heats up everything. All right. Um, and these machines heat up uh, a gas until it's so hot and its atoms are moving so fast that the particles slam together and combine to release an extraordinary amount of energy, often hundreds of millions of degrees hotter than the sun. 
The ultimate goal is to capture the energy and convert it into electricity. And as Tech Insider learned during a recent tour of the futuristic reactor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, fusing atoms make a loud and eerie sound. Getting fusion energy to work is easier said than done. Physis uh, yeah, physicists have tried to crack the problem for decades, but we have yet to build a machine that can sustain reaction, generate more energy than it consumes, and scale up to meet the energy demands of towns and cities. All these ads. I need to get a ad blocker. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, one... One place that is still trying to figure out how to harness fusion energy is MIT's Plasma Science and Fusion Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And the facility hosts a test plasma fusion reactor called Allocator C Mod, which is a, a cylindrical truck sized machine. C Mod is a tokamak style reactor. This means it uses a hollow donut shaped chamber of powerful magnets to confine and help fuse searing hot plasma without melting it melting its walls into a puddle of liquid metal. The chamber is under a vacuum, so atmospheric air doesn't mess with the special gas that MIT physicists inject inside. But there's a window that can show the orange hot glow of the fusing matter. Oh man, that's a, quite a name. Theodore Golifanopoulos, I'm not sure how to say that, a physicist at MIT who toured us around the reactor facility um, re recently took a video of a two second blast of fusion inside the machine through the window. And I set my point and shoot and camera, oh, sorry, I set my point and shoot camera here, but didn't hang around because that would have been dangerous. The bright blast of fusion energy seen through the port is shocking enough, but what really caught our attention was the noise combining atoms. It sounds a lot like a child screaming bloody murder at the top of his or her lungs. Here we go. This is what the plasma fusion below. Make sure your volume is under control. This is what it, the um, allocator C mod tokamak sounds like. Okay, everyone. So trigger warning, trigger warning. This, I'm going to play this. It may be, and this is fair use. I'm fair used to play this video. I had this in one of my videos a while back. I don't know where it went. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Oh, thank you, Mr. C. You're amazing. I will uh, see if that's it. Thank you, Mr. C. I love you. And one last time. This is creepy stuff. Okay? So creepy. Mr. C says, it sounds like my table saw going through a knot in the wood. Oh, crazy. Uh, gives me the creeps, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find what. Uh... Let me find what Mr. C has here. Yeah, oh, I couldn't find it. This is exactly what I did uh, four years ago. This is exactly it. Thank you so much, Mr. C. I don't know why I couldn't find it. I do have a migraine, so thank you. You are amazing. Appreciate that so much. So yes, my uh, video is called Adam Scream Inside Reactor. Strange sounds worldwide. Could it be ITER or CERN? Okay, so this whole video is based on all the different sounds that people are hearing, because uh, people are still hearing strange sounds. Um, wow.
That's awesome. I appreciate that so much. Huh. Crazy, crazy. Good times. Okay. All right. So back to where we began with the sun simulator. Now I haven't watched this guy's, this gentleman's um, videos on this. There's another gal that I really like that really had some good points to what she was talking about. But we'll go ahead and just uh, share his TikTok here um, and see what he says. Just sent it to me. You'll see some of the timestamps, and I trust them with my life. So if you trust me at all, I'm telling you all this is real. This is authentic, and I'm just gonna. So all the um, for fair use. Um, I can't even read that, but if you can read it better. This is the person's video on TikTok. I can't even read the name on it so little. I'm gonna show you what was sent to me, okay? So here's the first video. Take a close look at the refracting light. Snickers, don't worry. more prominent there. I honestly don't know what this guy. Is. Oh, I, okay. This is okay. This is the sun. Okay, this is what he's trying to show you right here. See how the um, sun when you do when you um, take a video or a picture of the sun, you always have that. Um, what's that called? That little thing that always. Uh, what's that called? It's like a sunspot, like the. Oh, I can't think it's called. But what they're saying is, look at this though. Why? Look at the way this looks. All the little dots inside it. That's what is interesting about this. And I'm pretty sure that's what he's gonna be pointing out. I don't know, if you're not watching this video yet, video yet, but from what I can tell, sun, sun simulators, it's what I'm kind of thinking he's trying to show. Yeah, the lens flare. Thank you, Hopsian. Thank you so much. That's exactly what I'm trying. This is a, called the, um, when you're taking a photo of the sun or a video, you're always gonna have um, what they call a lens flare. But the lens flare, look at the inside of it, what it looks like. That's what they're talking about. It shouldn't have all these little things inside it. Okay, so we're gonna keep playing it. Oh, I can read it now. Tune thy heart, TikTok. Now I'm gonna show you guys a still shot of that refracting light right now. And then he also sent me a couple of pictures. Here are the pictures. Now, if you zoom in really closely on that picture of the like, sun being white. <laughs> it looks like it has acne. <laughs> yeah, opposite. <laughs> you start to see some strange things. So what I did was I went into the native editing option that's within the photos on an iPhone, and I made a few changes to the set. Yeah, the honeycomb pattern in that flare. That's very weird. I'm going to show you in real time me making the changes to the settings so that if you've got any pictures of the sun that have been taken any time recently maybe you can try the same settings and see what you come up with and what they're what he's trying to point out and what a lot of people are pointing out is that it looks a lot like the sun simulators and all the um i'll show you in a moment what those look like that they've that they're testing these plasma um fusion machines the tokamaks and how the sun, and I have old, older videos and pictures of the sun, that the, the flares didn't have those little dots in there. The acne or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Hopsy, are you in Discord? I need to put the link in. Um, Discord is a great way to get me uh, those. See, that is wild. <laughs> His mind's exploding. I'm not telling you all what to think. I'm not even going to tell you what I think that is. I want you all to use common sense. And I just want you all to... Okay, and then this is what... NASA Solar Thermal Test Facility. A concentrator mirror. 
That's what this looks like. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> got recent here. It got me um, being a little bit spicy. One second. Um, I'm going to get Discord link in. What's going on? 25 years in my life is still trying to get at that great big hill of hope. Putting a Discord link in. I realized quickly when I knew I should that the whole world's made up of this brotherhood of mine. For whatever that means. And so I try sometimes when I lie in bed to just get it all up. It's in my head and I, I'm feeling a little peculiar. And so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I, oh come on, scream at the top of my lungs. I'm trying to get this link. What's going on? And I'll say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yay, yay. I said, hey, there we go. What's going on? If you're not in Discord, um, there you go. Pin the message to the top. For the Good Vibe Kind Tribe members especially, and of course subscribers, um, thank you for being here. There's that link. Um, it's a great way to give me some, I try to check it. Um, I'm getting better with my moderators. Mr. C's gonna be a moderator in Discord once I figure out how to do that. And then I'm um, going to get him um, probably my phone number so he can text me things too because with my ADHD and I'm not on medication, um, it's really easy for me to lose track of time and all um, things that I need to be doing with my dyslexia and uh, ADHD and oh my goodness, you know, I'm just a crazy hot mess. I'm <laughs> just a beautiful disaster. Um, so we're working on all these things because they, okay, for instance, Vyvanse is the medication I take for ADHD. My insurance company would always pay for it. And now they only pay for generic, which they have a short on both of those. And instead of paying for it, they want me to pay $400. I'm not paying $400. So I'll just live with being a little bit, uh, not myself, not my best self. <laughs> That's okay. So see how, oh, okay. So see inside here how all those little images, um, I wish I could make that bigger. Um, that's what we're trying to show you. What the, the look at the sunspot when you take pictures. What that looks like, and then what this looks like. So, uh, if I can get a better picture, I'll show you the solar thermal test facility here. Solar test thermal facility. This is operated by the Sandia National Laboratories for the U.S. Department of Energy, the DOE. The National Solar Thermal Test Facility is the only test facility of the type of this type in the United States. Primary goal is to provide experimental engineering data for the design, construction, and operation of unique components and systems is in proposed sol solar thermal electrical plants planned for large-scale power generation. So it's a lot like what uh, Panda Bear Country, you know, is doing, China, um, with their tokamaks, and France with their ITER. Um, the site was built and the instrument to provide test, instrumented to provide test facilities for a variety of solar and non-solar applications. The facility can provide high heat flux and temperatures for material testing and aerodynamic heating simulation, large fields of optics for astronomical observations or satellite calibrations, solar furnace, and rotating platform and parabolic trough evaluation. During the late 1970s, rising fuel costs and the demand for a cleaner environmental environment <laughs> gave in, uh, gave important advanced technology, gave an impetus, I don't know how to say that, to advanced technology, which used solar energy to create electricity. Studies 
identified the central receiver concept as having high potential to generate electricity on a large scale. The United States government initiated support through the National Science Foundation Research Applied to National Needs, RAN, program in 1972, which was eventually funded by the Energy Research and Development Administration and the DOE and six central receiver pilot plants were constructed, including five MW thermal test facilities at Sandea, I'm not sure how to say that, National Laboratories. The heliostat field has 212 individual heliostats, and the capability directly supports the sunshot goals by providing flux levels to greater than 250 W slash CM2 so it looks like it's a um, Einstein equation, um, E equals MC squared. So we're looking at mass and the total power to excess of 6MW. Each heliostat has two motors and two drives, one 480V power box and electronic box and one control box. Okay, we're not gonna get into all the details of that, but then there's the solar tower. Now, remember when Sunspot Observatory closed down? That was so weird. The whole town shut down. Even the post office shut down. The helicopters came swooping in. The, that was some crazy stuff. So what in the world's really going on, right? What's going on? And I say, hey, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Hey, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? So the tower. Um, it's 200 feet high. It's a concrete structure with three test locations. Wonder where those are at. And the molten salt test loop. Uh, sunshot goals are by providing development for thermal energy storage. Dish test facility. Where is it at? Where is it at? I wonder. Let's see. Where is this at? I wonder the location. Hmm. Let's see if they're doing it in 2024. How much have they advanced? I know Google's evil, but it also bought YouTube, so from what I understand. What do you do? What can you do? Not much. Um, that was 2023. Let's see if there's any 2024. Heliocon. New funding opportunities. Apply 3 million. <laughs> They're requesting for 3 million proposals. What is this? Heliostat Constrodium. Constra consortium <laughs> uh, for concentrating solar thermal power. Why should we care, right? Well, there's some reasons we should care. There are some interesting, you know, what can we do about it? Oh, well, probably not much, but it is interesting, right? Um, ooh, digital twins. Anyways, if you're interested in this, in the replay crew and in the uh, chat and in the comments after this, um, Please let me know if you're interested in going into more details on this or if you want me just to make a video on it. I certainly can do that. Okay. Now, um, and then this is great. Okay, so we're going to get back. We're going to stay with this, but my ADHD kind of went whoop. I saw the 9-11 outage in South Dakota, and that is where Fermilab is with the deep underground neutrino experiments, Dune, that's connected with CERN, and they're firing back up and they have some major things they're doing with neutrinos right now. Massive things. So it makes you wonder, is there something to that? Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, then I want to get to what this gal had posted. She had some really good videos of this um, as examples. Let me get it for you. I'll get it right here. One moment. La 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 That's Dune. La 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 la. See? April 15th, 
here we see one of the proto-dune particle detectors. That's what I keep talking about is dune. The proto-dune particle detectors begin filled with liquid argon, a process that takes about two months. These things are massive underground, massive. The liquid argon inert properties facilitate precise, me precise measurements, enhancing detection capabilities. They also have this at the Ice Cube Observatory in Antarctica at the South Pole. Um, and this proton beam from the super proton synchrotron and test the, and validate the technologies that will be applied to the Dune experiment being built in the United States. Find out more about Dune and how Fermilab and Sanford Lab are involved at home.cern slash news slash news dot slash expe da 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 da. Um, so fair use, let's share this. I'm not gonna share the music, but fair use, fair use. Here we go. And they have this in an abandoned gold mine underground in South Dakota that goes to Chicago, okay? And they also have this in a um, abandoned gold mine in Japan, the Super K, with this argon or ultra pure water to detect neutrinos, which they call ghost particles. Okay, that's crazy. These are like Olympic sized swimming pools underground. They're massive. And remember when the skies were green in South Dakota, when they started turning back up, how green the skies were? And then was it Dubai, I think, just turned green the other night, uh, yesterday? People were talking about pictures of the sky looking green before it went crazy, the rain. Um, yeah. Okay, one quick, this is so cute. We gotta have a cuteness break, we'll need a little break. This is so cute. You know what kind of bird this is? Let me show you this. Oh my goodness, I love that bird. That's so freaking cute. Um, this bird is a, oh my gosh. Um, it's called a trumpeteer hornbill, a medium-sized bird native to Southern Africa. It has a large gray cask on its bill, brown or red eyes, and pink surrounding skin. The trumpeteer hornbill is 23 to 26 inches long, with a wingspan of 24 inches. It's so cute. So ugly, it's cute. I love the way it jumps. Okay, sorry, a little cuteness break. We need that little intermission for our brains. Okay, uh, so mine, mine's really hurting right now. This migraine's getting me. Anybody else having headaches right now? This geomagnetic storm we're in? I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Oh yeah, uh-huh. It's the rhythm of it. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Trying to find this article. One second. We are almost there. Get down to it. Get down to it. Here, okay, here we go. Guide to solar simulations and solar simulators. These are some things I posted on X. Um, articles I pulled up in 2017 when they lit up the world's largest artificial sun and sh it shined brightly for the first time. And researchers use let's see no that's not it um okay now I'm gonna get closer getting closer 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 we are getting there here we are this gal she is so funny on tiktok um auntie coletti is what i think she goes by she is so cute and fun but i'm gonna not play her whole video but all credit to her i think she's a blast um but I'm gonna just play a little bit of what she's saying here and at the end what she captured and what made sense because she is um, really in tune to, with um, her almighty and she believes she gets a lot of messages 
um, and, and her meditations and things with um, prayer. And so she she's a fascinating young lady. I, I, I enjoy her. Hang on to your britches, boys. I'm she's so funny. Entertainment purposes only. And, the, you know, that's for sure. In fact, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to get to where... And then she's going to... Okay, what's interesting about what she captured or found in this um, eclipse is how it went like... Un it, it looked like it went behind. So I'll, like, I'll just play it for a moment. But it looked like it went behind the sun or whatever this was. It's so interesting. Social anxiety. I love that. It's so funny. Okay, now she's talking about what she captured. Screenshots of the video. This is my backyard. Here is the sun, and here's that ominous glow globe that we always get when we. Hello, Mr. Garlic Man. We do videos, which is literally just a reflection of the sun that floats around, but it's a reflection of the exact sun. Imagine my shock and surprise when I zoomed in on it and I found this. Yeah, those are some whole ass geometric patterns. That is the reflection of. And then she talks about, she's got pictures of the sun. Hold on, get this. Here's one of the pictures I got of the sun and the sun. Look at, now she has this all through the sun ray, all of this. And she's saying you can go out and do this with your own camera and, and get this too. And that's what her, the solar flare here too. But it's also the sun and the ray. Makes you wonder. It could mean absolutely nothing. It could be a glitch, as they say. Many glitches we're having nowadays, right? Could mean absolutely nothing, but it is interesting. And it does look a lot like. The entire sun is made up them. Here's a closer, better view of it. You guys, that's what they're trying to make us believe is our sun. That is a whole ass artificial sun. And check out its reflection again. I put my eclipse glasses over my camera and took a video. Guys, watch this. Boom, it literally focuses in on these geometric shapes. Guys, this isn't one of those freak once-in-a-lifetime sightings where you might think, hey, is this a filter? Is she tricking us or not? No, I would truly tell you, go out and look for yourself. Get your camera, get your phone, and go look. Just like the solar simulator. Yeah, that's the solar simulator that I was showing you. That's what we were leading up this whole conversation to. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. Hello, freedom. Freedom. I'm to get you down, freedom. George Michael. It's got that song in my head now, Freedom. I love that song. I love George Michael. Oh, he's so cute. Freedom. Okay. Anyways, um, I do have a really bad headache. I do want to get into some other really crazy topics. Um, I think tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Oh, Snickers is really snoring. She's like, it's bedtime, everyone. Um, so. I will cover the other two really interesting topics I have for you um, tomorrow and Friday. And I will be dog sitting as well. So I don't know what time I'll actually be on to cover those topics, but um, I'm always going to try and bring something unique and different or something interesting to talk about. I try my best. You know, it's all just fun and games. We never know what we're going to get. It's all a box of chocolates. It's all good. All good in the neighborhood. Um, so remember, you are freaking amazing. Know how much I love you and that you have an amazing role here um, on this earth. You have a massive destiny. And I am so humbled to know each and every one of you. If I miss shouting you out, I'm sorry. I love you, goodbye, be kind tribe. Um, thank you for joining the tribe, everyone, and who have rejoined the tribe and um, the memberships and the Discord links at the top, pinned at the top of this chat, and subscribers and my replay crew, you're amazing. Um, and uh, lurkers and people who are just getting to know me and my channel, thank you for giving me a chance. I'm so, so grateful for each and every one of you. So humongous sisterly and brotherly hugs and um, many high fives everywhere and good vibes. This is Trinity 
Red or blue pill? Ha ho! Kermit the Frog here. Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure imagination. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. I'm making you your favorite mocktail cocktail drink and settling you in for whatever time of day it is just to give you a smile or make you know how incredible you are. I love you.